something to be said, please keep your comments to the point of the matter. Um, I will limit discussion to what is on the warrant this evening. And you can come to the microphone in the middle of the room. Please do not touch the microphone. You can just uh, be near it to speak. Um, that will help us reduce our potential for COVID transmission. Um, please avoid any matters of personality. Non-voters are seated to my left in the front right of the auditorium. All registered voters are asked to remain seated during the town meeting and to avoid side conversations, please. All of you should have an electronic voting device that must be returned at the end of the meeting. This is paramount. It causes additional work for staff for the town to have to figure out where these went. So if you can please, if you have to leave the meeting early, please leave them with uh, the individuals at the front check-in desks. Um, I will note today, October 13th, is the 152nd anniversary of the day that Thomas Edison filed his first patent application, which was for an electronic voting device. So this took us 152 years to adopt the technology. Government moves slowly sometimes. Just a point of interest. Um, when the vote is called, the device will be activated and you'll see on the screen, but it really doesn't matter. I will walk you through that if you cannot see the screen. Um, it will be time to vote. You will press the green button for yes, the red button for no. If you choose to abstain, you do not need to press the abstention button. We will have a test question to practice uh, our use with the devices. Um, so I will call that now. So our test question is, will next May's outdoor town meeting be held indoors? Interesting wording on the question. Always happens on a ballot question. Um, so press green for yes, so the votes are open, red for no. You'll see this gives you 30 seconds to complete your voting. If you press multiple times, it doesn't matter, your last vote will be counted. So if you change your vote, your last vote will be counted. You can tell your device is working if there's some kind of a symbol that shows up for A, B, or C in the little screen on the device. Okay. And we have to do this again. So while Karen resets the question, I will add that Congress decided not to use the electronic voting machine 152 years ago because they liked that it went slowly, believe it or not. Okay, we're going to ask the question, no? Jeff Sorrell from IT. Thank you for your patience. While we resolve that, I'll offer a final point that under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 39, Section 17, I'm obliged to inform you that if you fail to comply with our established protocols, you will be warned and then removed from the meeting if necessary. Just for the friendly finish.
Okay, we'll try again. Will we be? Okay. Okay, polling is open. We're resetting. Okay, we're going to move on from the test. Um, we believe it is working, so we're going to move to the warrant. For the Town of Charlton, the warrant for special town meeting, Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, to either of the constables of the Town of Charlton in the County of Worcester, greetings. In the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify the inhabitants of the Town of Charlton qualified to vote in elections to meet in Shepherd Hill Regional High School at 68 Dudley Oxford Road in Dudley, Mass. on Tuesday, October 13th, 2020 at 7 o'clock in the evening for the purpose of taking action on the following articles. Article 1, appropriation of funds for unpaid bills of a prior fiscal year. To see if the town will vote to raise by taxation, transfer, or borrow and appropriate a sum or sums to accounts to be specified at the town meeting for payment of one or more prior fiscal year's bills not paid due to an insufficiency of appropriation or for other reasons, or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do we have a motion? Ms. Ridlack has made a motion to pass over indefinitely. This requires a second. Second from Mr. Borowski. Do we have a recommendation of the Finance Committee? The Finance Committee supports this motion. Do we have a recommendation of the Board of Selectmen? Board of Selectmen supports this motion. Is there any discussion to be had? Hearing none, a majority vote is needed. Please vote now. Yes, to pass over indefinitely. No is the red button. There are 20 seconds remaining. Okay, voting five seconds, four, three, two, one. We so we have 60 votes in the affirmative, seven in the negative. The motion carries. Article two. Inter-intra-departmental transfers and or appropriations for the FY 2021 budget to see if the town will vote to raise by taxation, borrow or transfer, and appropriate from available funds, including so-called free cash and or funds previously appropriated to other uses, a sum or sum of money to accounts and for purposes to be specified at the town meeting, or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do we have a motion? Mr. Borowski? Mr. Singer?
So this motion is relative to the transfer of sums between accounts as described on page two of your warrant. Do we have a second? Second, Mr. Borowski. Is there any discussion to be had? When you come to the mic, would you please say your name and your address in town? Stephen Say, is it on? Uh, 41 Lincoln Point Road, Charlton. Mr. Sage. There is a great deal of free cash uh, listed on tonight's warrants. Um, before we vote on spending the free cash, I thought it would be appropriate to find out how much authorized free cash there was this period um, so that people are aware of what's available. Thank you. I'll direct that question to our finance director for the total amount of free cash available. One million seven hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred and five dollars. So there is one million seven forty nine five oh five in free cash available. Mr. Sage. Just to be aware that I calculated that if everything passes this evening, one million four hundred and fifty eight thousand one hundred and ninety three of that is spent which includes 175,000 going to stabilization. That leaves um, a, a balance of free cash that uh, I was told there was 1,749,505 as just stated. So there seems to be a balance of about uh, 291,312 that's not being appropriated or just left in free cash so people are aware of the numbers. Can I direct that question also to our finance director to comment um, relative to the reallocation of free cash this evening, will that leave us with a balance of 291,000? Yes, that will. That was done intentionally. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I, I don't know if that... It was done intentionally to leave a balance of 291,000 could also be used in the spring, depending on what goes on with COVID and other snow and ice, other issues that we don't know about. Thank you. Is there anything further to be said on this article? Hearing none, please pull out your voting devices. All in favor, press green. Those opposed, press blue. Voting is now. Ten seconds remaining. Okay, we have 59 in the affirmative and eight in the negative. The motion carries. Article three, the amendment to the FY 2021 budget to see if the town will vote to amend the funding sources for the fiscal 2021 budget voted at the June 2020 annual town meeting as follows. By reducing the sum, uh, pardon me, by reducing the amount to be transferred from Prindle Dam RRFA by $7,600 and increasing the amount to be raised and appropriated by $7,600 or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do we have a motion? Mr. Borowski, do we have a second? Mr. Singer? Is there a recommendation from the Finance Committee? Finance Committee supports the motion. Is there a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? Board of Selectmen supports the motion. Is there any discussion to be had? Hearing none, we need a majority vote. So I will call that we uh, vote on this article. We have 30 seconds. Ten 
10 seconds. Okay, we have 59 in favor and seven opposed. The motion carries. Article four, miscellaneous capital items and related contracts. To see if the town will vote to raise by taxation borrow or transfer from available funds, including so-called free cash, and funds previously appropriated to other uses, and appropriate a sum or sums to purchase capital items and or for service repair, improvement, architectural, construction, renovation improvement, and or other contracts related to town buildings, facilities, or property, or to municipal services, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen, Chief Procurement Officer, or other appropriate town official, board, commission, or committee to enter into such contracts and leases, and to take such other action as may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purposes of such votes, or take any action relative thereto or thereon. We are going to separate out the capital items into separate votes, and I'm uh, calling this the Kathleen Walker Amendment. I think it was suggested at the last special town meeting that we do so, and I'm, I'm pleased for clarity that we'll have the opportunity to entertain these separately. So do we have a motion on the first items? Can I interrupt you for one moment? I'm sorry, would, it, would you be able to read with the microphone? Thank you. Thank you. Madam Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amounts to the following departments, respective accounts for FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purposes, each item being considered a separate appropriation, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter into such contracts, including leases, and take such action that may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purposes of the foregoing vote. And I will list these out since they are, these are capital items, so the people at home can understand. For the Conservation Committee, they're looking for $21,000 from free cash for a fence at South Charlton Dam. The Cemetery Committee, is looking for $7,500 from free cash to replace a 1993 18-foot flat deck equipment trailer. The library is looking for $8,840 from free cash for two Honeywell Spider controllers. And the library is looking to paint, repaint the windows the original, on the original building from free cash at the cost of $6,192. We have a motion and a second. We have the recommendation of the Finance Committee. FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation of the Board of Selectmen? The Board of Selectmen support this motion. Thank you. Is there anything to be said on this matter? Hearing none, a majority vote is needed. Please take out your voting devices. Green in the affirmative. Please vote now. Karen, is the countdown? It's not moving. Okay, voting is open. Thank you. Ten seconds. Okay, we have 59 in the affirmative, 11 in the negative. Motion carries. Do we have a second motion relative to capital items? Madam Moderator. Yes, sir. I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department accounts for FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose, 
such being considered a separate appropriation and authorize the Board of Selectment or Chief Procurement Officer to enter into such contracts, including leases, and take such other action as may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of this foregoing vote. And this particular vote is regarding, sponsored by the Planning Board for a master plan update. They're requesting $50,000 from free cash. Thank you, Mr. Coronas. And the second came from Mr. Borowski. Thank you. Do we have a recommendation of the Finance Committee? The Finance Committee supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation of the Board of Selectmen? The Board of Selectmen supports the motion. Is there any discussion to be had? Are you getting up for comment or no? Okay. Thank you. Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. A majority vote is needed. All in favor, press 1. Those opposed, press 2. Please vote now. Ten seconds. Okay, we have 52 in the affirmative, 17 in the negative. The motion carries. Do we have a third motion relative to capital items? Well, there's no doubt I pulled the short straw on this one. Mr. Coronas. Madam Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department's account for the FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose, such being considered a separate appropriation and authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter such contracts, including leases, and take such action as necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. This is based, this is from our information technology department. They're looking to spend $75,000 for technology replacement and improvements from free cash. Thank you. Do we have a second? second. Mr. Borowski, do we have a recommendation of the Finance Committee? Second. FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation of the Board of Selectmen? The Board of Selectmen supports this motion. Thank you. Is there anything to be said on this matter? Hearing none, please take out your voting devices. We'll call for a vote and vote now. Green for yes, red for no. Ten seconds. Okay, we have uh, 53 in the affirmative, 17 in the negative. The motion carries. Do we have a fourth motion relative to capital items? Thank you. Madam Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department's accounts for the FY 2021 capital budget. To be expended for the following purpose, such being considered on a separate appropriation and authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter such contracts, including leases and take such other action as may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. And this is from the, this request is from the police department, replacement, uh, replacement of two police cruisers at $118,561 from free cash. We have a motion and a second. Do we have the recommendation of the Finance Committee? FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation of the Board of Selectmen? The Board of Selectmen support this motion. Thank you. Is there any discussion to be had on this item?
Hearing none. All in favor, please vote in the affirmative with the green button. Those opposed with the red. Please vote now. Ten seconds. Okay, we have 54 in the affirmative and 17 in the negative. The motion carries. Fifth motion. Madam Moderator, I move yes, that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department's account for the FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose, such being considered a separate appropriation and authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter such contracts, including leases, and take such other action that may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. This particular motion is from the Fire Department EMS, replacement of ambulance number two, in the amount of $310,000 from the ambulance RRFA fund, 1506. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Do we have recommendation of the Finance Committee? FinCom supports the motion. A recommendation of the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen supports this motion. Thank you. Is there any discussion to be had? A quick clarification as to what the RRFA fund is. Mr. Sage asks for clarification regarding the fund. I'll direct that to our town finance director. RRFA stands for receipts reserved for appropriation, means the funds that are collected into it has to have an appropriation by town meeting to take it out. These are typically your third party receipts for, uh, from insurance companies for ambulance runs. Okay, was everyone able to hear that clearly? Okay, those are receipts reserved for appropriation, RRFA, typically from third party payments of ambulance uh, insurance billing. Ron Hokinson, uh, 21 Power Station Road. Have we run out of free cash now at this point? So at this point with the expenditures approved, the question is have we run out of free cash? There is, yeah. That's okay, would you please answer the question so people that also view this later understand what the, the conversation is. We have not run out of free cash yet and there are more items from free cash to come. Okay, so we are not out of free cash at this point. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Those in favor, press the green. If you're opposed, press the red. Please vote now. Ten seconds. Thank you. There are 57 votes in the affirmative, 14 in the negative. The motion carries. All right, a sixth motion for capital items. Mr. Coronas. Madam Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department's account for FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose, such being considered a separate appropriation and authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter to such contracts, including leases, and take such action, other, other action that may be necessary and advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. This is a replacement from, this is a request is from the Fire Department EMS, to replacement of Squad 1 at $60,000 from free cash. 
We have a motion and a second. May I please have the recommendation of the Finance Committee? FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? No, the Board of Selectmen support this motion. Thank you. Is there any discussion to be had on this matter? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor, press the green button. Those opposed, press red. Ten seconds. We have 50 votes in the affirmative, 19 in the negative. Is that, am I reading that correct? The motion carries. Do we have a seventh motion relative to capital expenditures? Mr. Coronas. <clears throat> Madam Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount from the following department's account for the FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose, such being considered a separate appropriation, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter such a contract, including leases, and take such other action that may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. This is this was sponsored from the brought up from the town administrator. It's a town-wide radio project in the amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars from free cash. supports the motion. Do we have record? zones in the town because of the hilly terrain and everything else that's going so these are these are signal boosters kind of like a Wi-Fi booster right that you put up all over town to, so that they're able to communicate to each other um, at, a, at, a, at a safer level and, and there's a, there's a you know, expedite time response time and everything else there's, there's a lot of reasons for it but it's more repeater signals that I believe would be put up on telephone poles around the town or so, um, I don't think they're a so let me repeat what I've heard so that everyone can hear it clearly, that these are signal boosters, Wi-Fi boosters that will help uh, cover some of the dead zones in our town by boosting the radio signal for fire, EMS, and the highway department. Is there, Is there anything, anything further, further to be said on this matter? Mr. Sage? So the bottom line is it's basically for the safety of the citizens of Charlton. Thank you for your comment. Paul Begnan, 106 Osgood Road. Uh, in another flyer, I saw that this is only half of the expenditure. So Mr. Golis will respond to that question. Thank you. The um, uh, study was conducted probably about eight years ago to look at what the total cost of what the- Can you speak to the are. microphone, please? Sorry, the, uh, the total cost of what the project would include um, we feel that that price, uh, maybe just give an outline of that right now, but the first uh, part of the project conducted would be to do a, a revised analysis to ensure that that cost is accurate. Uh, right now we anticipate that cost to be about $500,000, but we want to make sure that we 
at least get the project going and then come back when we have the full cost analysis. So thank you. The question was, does this represent half of the cost of the project? And the answer was essentially that's our current understanding, but this would start the project and allow us to get a firmer understanding of the total cost. Is there anything further on this matter? Good questions tonight. All right, hearing none, we'll vote. Um, those in the affirmative with the green button, those opposed with the red button, please vote now. Ten seconds. Thank you. We have 53 voting in the affirmative and 17 in the negative. The motion carries. Do we have an eighth motion? Mr. Coronas. Get that fog up. Motion eight, I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amount to the following department's account for the FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purpose such being considered in a separate appropriation and to authorize the Board of Selectmen or Chief Procurement Officer to enter such contracts including leases and take such action as may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purpose of the foregoing vote. This request is from the Highway Department from free cash in the amount of $203,000, $203,500 Thank you. Do we have a second? <laughs> second, do we have a recommendation from the Finance Committee? FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? The, the Board of Selectmen support this motion. Thank you. Is there any discussion to be had relative to this motion? Okay, hearing none. All those in favor, please vote with the green button. Those opposed with the red. Ten seconds. Thank you. We have 47 votes in the affirmative, 22 votes in the negative. The motion carries. Mr. Coronas, your lucky night. Yeah, A ninth yeah, motion. Nine. Lucky number nine. Madam Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following amounts from the following department's account for the FY 2021 capital budget to be expended for the following purposes, such being considered as separate appropriation and to authorize the Child and Water and Sewer Commission after review and approval from the, of the Chief Procurement Officer or the Chief Procurement Officer to enter into such contracts, including leases, and to take such action as may be necessary or advisable to effectuate the purposes of the foregoing vote. And this is from the water sewer enterprise account, earnings actually, for a new pickup truck and the sponsor of the water sewer enterprise commission. We have a motion and a second. May I have the recommendation of the finance committee, please. FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation from the board of selectmen? The Board of Selectmen support this motion. Thank you. Is there any discussion to be had? Mr. Sage. I'd like to uh, thank the Board of Select Persons and the Finance Committee for following through with the request of the people at a couple meetings, town meetings back, of breaking the capital expenditures up into more than just one single item. It may have taken longer, but it allowed people to express their opinion on different components and also to see exactly where the money was coming from. Uh, we've now spent $1,283,193 in free cash. The only other free cash expenditure is really a transfer into stabilization, so that's not spending it. 
Thank you for your comment on the order of the meeting and the amount of money remaining in free cash. Is there anything else to be said on this matter? Okay, hearing none. All those in favor, please vote in the affirmative with the green button. Those opposed, vote with the red button. Ten seconds. Okay, we have 58 votes in the affirmative, 12 in the negative. The motion carries. Madam Moderator. Yes, Ms. Spiewak. A little, a little out of order, but that's all right. You had something important there. Article 5, to transfer to or from stabilization funds to see if the town will vote to transfer and appropriate a sum or sums to or from the stabilization funds or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do Madam we have a motion, Ms. Spiewak? <laughs> Madam Moderator. Yes. <laughs> All right. I move that the town vote to transfer and appropriate the following sums to and from the following accounts and funds. Two, the stabilization fund, um, number 9009, the amount of $175,000 from free cash for the purpose of fund the stabilization according to reserve policy. Two, water stabilization fund, fund 9016, the amount of $61,900 from the public water supply, Gale Road Capital Project Fund 3613. The purpose, transfer state reimbursement to water stabilization fund. Two, sewer stabilization fund, fund 9017, the amount of $418,000 from the sewer retained earnings, fund 6200. The purpose, future capital projects. Second. We have a motion and a second. We have the recommendation of the finance committee. FinCom supports the motion. Do we have a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? Board of Selectmen supports this motion. Thank you. Do we have any discussion on these items? Mr. Sage. From earlier uh, research, I had found out that there was $1,376,828 and a little bit of change in our stabilization account by adding the $175,000. Apparently, it will leave us with $1,551,828 and some change, and along with the $291,312 that was not transferred from free cash, it looks like we have a fair amount in our savings. Thank you. Does the finance director wish to comment on those figures? Those numbers are accurate. Thank you. Is there anything else to be said on this matter? Hearing none, all in favor, please vote with the green button. Those opposed with the red, please vote now. Thank you. We have 60 votes in the affirmative, 8 in the negative. The motion carries. All right. No vote shall be taken on any motion relating to Article 6, 7, 8, and 9 below until the planning board has submitted a report with recommendations thereon to the town meeting if 21 days have not elapsed since the public hearing before the planning board was held on the proposed amendment to the zoning bylaw set forth in said article. That's per General Laws, Chapter 40A, Section 5, Paragraph 4. Article 6, 
our zoning map amendment to see if the town will vote to amend the zoning map section 200.3.1b by making the following changes. Change the assessor's parcel 32-A-6 consisting of 40.6 plus or minus acres currently zoned R-40 low density residential R-40 to business enterprise park BEP district. The zoning change is shown on the attached map in your warrant or to take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do we have a motion for Article 6? This is the first map in your package. Please state your name. Madam Moderator. Don Clay, 56 H Putnam Road. Thank you. I move the town approve Article 6 as written. Second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have a recommendation from the planning board? Is there a planning board representative here? I am a planning board representative. Mr. Clay. The planning board voted uh, three to two to approve this, to recommend this. So the planning board recommends approval of the article. Is there a recommendation from the board of selectmen? The board of selectmen support the motion. There is a two thirds vote needed for a zoning change. Is there anything further to be said? We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Clay, are you all set? Thank you. Tom Myers, 9 Potter Village Road. Mr. Myers. Who is property owner? Mr. Clay, do you wish to share who is the property owner who's proposed the Amendment. The property owner is here right now. The property owner here. Please share your name and address in Charlton, please. Uh, Kenneth Kazowski, 53 Sturbridge Road, property owner. Kenneth? Kazowski. Kazowski. And you are the owner of the property that has filed the amendment? Yes. Me and my okay. brother. The article. Thank you. Is there a further Any discussion? Questions? Did you wish to say something further? Okay, thank you. Is there any further comment on this article? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anything further to be said? Josh Saper, 97 Blood Road. Mr. Saper. Can, there, uh, can either the planning board or the property owner explain uh, what, what the purpose of changing the zoning, what, what they intend to do with the property? Thank you. Would the property owner be available to explain what the purpose is behind this change? Uh, right now it's on the R40 low residential. And uh, there's a solar field on the property and it's right in Route 20 and there's industrial across from it. So uh, I just didn't feel it was very well worth putting houses there or apartments there. And uh, it's easier to uh, get customers to come in if, uh, you know, if the zoning has changed. Because people don't want to talk and invest money in property if they don't know if they'll get the change. Was everyone able to hear that? Could you please speak up louder directly into the mic? Thank you. Uh, is, well, is zoned uh, uh, R40 now, 
row. So apartments and multifamily homes, and it's, uh, it's right in, on Route 20. There's industrial land across the street, so uh, it'd be easier to get people interested in the property if it was already zoned, changed, compared to uh, putting houses there. Thank you. Is there any um, comment from the planning board relative to that same question? So this, this property uh, abuts Route 20 and along Samson Road on the western portion of Sam, uh, Samson Road. Um, it's, like you said, it's currently a, a solar farm and uh, he wishes to change that. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Please state your name and address. Hi, Lori Harms, Pumpkin Lane. I just wonder if that abuts Cape and Hill, the sanctuary. Thank no. you. Does the property abut Cape and Hill? No. No, it does not. Thank you, Ms. Harms. Is there anything further to be said on this matter? Mr. Saper? Uh, just uh, no, uh, uh, not to um, point out that the... Um, Could you speak directly to the microphone? Yeah, not, not to, uh, uh, to um, point out what the uh, property owner is trying to do, but to make a statement that you have a, you're going to allow a commercial property to be surrounded by residential properties. We've had problems in the past with similar scenarios, and I question the planning board not uh, looking at the entirety of the map and going over everything, not just one property owner, because this could cause uh, problems in the future. Thank you for your comment. Is there anything further to be said? Hearing none, all those in favor, please vote green for the affirmative, red for the negative. Ten seconds. We have 46 votes in the affirmative, 22 in the negative. We are, hold on one moment, let me just confirm. We need 46 votes to pass. It, the motion carried. 45.33 is a two-thirds majority. Motion carried. Article 7, Zoning Map Amendment. To see if the town will vote to amend the zoning map, section 200.3.1.B by making the following changes. Change assessor's parcels 26-D-13 and 26-D-13.2, consisting of a total of 87.5 plus or minus acres, currently zoned community business to business enterprise park. The zone change is on the attached map or take any action relative thereto or thereon. So I will call your attention to the correct map, which is the second map in your package, the back of the package. Do we have a motion? Madam Moderator. Yes, sir, Mr. I Clay. Move, I move that the town approve Article 6 as written. Article 7. Article 7, I'm sorry. Article 7, we have a motion and a second. Do we have the recommendation of the planning board? Yes, the planning board voted at, uh, for three to two to recommend this article. So the planning board recommends the article. 
Is there a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? <laughs> Board of Selectmen supports the article. The motion. We need a two-thirds vote. Is there any discussion to be had relative to this motion? Nancy Sage, uh, 41 Lincoln Point Road. Mrs. Just, Sage. Just a question about the difference between the community business and the business enterprise park, just for clarification. Okay. I'll ask the uh, planning board representative or our zoning officer. Kurt Meskis, 72 H Foot Road, zoning enforcement officer. Mr. Meskis. Business Enterprise Park is designed to allow mixed use of compatible light, um, like biomedical and um, park-like, um, office park-like settings. Community business allows more of a retail um, establishment. There was a proposal that did not come to fruition a number of years ago that had a, um, Blackstone Mall like component there that would not be allowed under the that would not be allowed under this change and business enterprise park most of the allowed uses require a special permit from the planning board so there is some extra protection that the planning board has in denying or shaping these projects thank you Bill Fontaine, Partridge Hill Road. I'm also a member of the planning board, but speaking as a member of the public. Mr. Fontaine. Um, this, this parcel uh, will be switched to Business Enterprise Park as a result of a successful vote. And if you see the map, this, is, this property is wedged between the Mass Pike and Route 20. Um, and in this area, in fact, all of Route 20 um, is classified under our, our previous master plan as suitable for such commercial enterprises as this, and so fit in well with the planning and the master plan of Charlton for such uh, business enterprise park, which is like a smaller industrial park uh, type of classification for commercial and uh, high technology uh, businesses. Thank you. Is there anything further to be said? Uh, Myers, I'm Potter Village Road. Again, Mr. who is the property owner? Mr. Myers, who is the property owner? Is the property owner present this evening? Since the property owner sponsored the... Uh, I don't believe the property owner is here tonight. Dan Prouty is the property owner. Okay, Mr. Uh, Dan. Through his LLC, uh, through his corporation. Mr. Dan Prouty is the property owner through his business. May I ask a question? Yes, sir. Why are the names of these people not on the warrant instead of using the generic term property owner? I'll direct that to our legal counsel. Why are the names of the property owner? The response is the action is relative to the real estate, not the property owner. Oh. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joellen DiPieri, 155 Saundersdale Road in Charlton. Ms. DiPieri. Um, in case curious minds are inquiring, <clears throat> in the future, if one conducts a search on Patriot Properties on the Town of Charlton website, and you type in the parcel number that's listed as is, is listed in this article here with the dashes, very important to list the dashes, then you can actually look up the property owner by name. So in case one is trying to find the property owner of a particular parcel, Patriot Properties is a good resource to do that. Thank you. Is there anything further to be said relative to the motion and Article 7? Yes, Madam Moderator. 
operator, uh, Pat Hoy, 149 City Depot Road. Mr. Coy. Hoy, H-O-Y. Hoy, thank you. Lived there for 30 years with my bride. Uh, I, for one, have a background in, in commercial development. 40 years I've worked with Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce, Worcester Development Corporation, and I'm excited as a homeowner to see a potential of broadening the commercial tax rate in this town. Finance Committee, selectmen doing a great job spending money, you have to. But I think this is an exciting time. We're working right now in Worcester with the mayor, uh, with the Could governor. Could you please keep Lieutenant. your comments constrained to the um, specifics of I Article I believe there's 7. an opportunity in biomanufacturing right now that we might be able to use properties such as this in development. So I will have it back. Thank you. Is there anything further to be said on this matter? Okay, hearing none, all in favor, please vote in the affirmative with the green button. Those opposed, vote with the red button. Please vote now. We have 53 votes in the affirmative, 17 in the negative. Motion carries. Article 8, Building Height. To see if the town will vote to amend Charlton Zoning Bylaw Section 200-3.2 Use Regulations, D period, intensity of use schedule to read as set forth below, the intent being to allow an increase of building or other structure height in IG and BEP zoning districts from the present 36 feet up to but no more than 50 feet subject to approval of a special permit from the planning board and provided that the required minimum setback from the building structure approved for the special permit to both A, the nearest residential structure, including any accessory use structure, and B, the nearest boundary of any abutting residential or agricultural zoning district boundary line shall be double the ordinarily required setback in the zone in which the building structure so approved is located. The intensity of use schedule appears as a part of this motion showing the zoning district IG of industrial general having a minimum square footage lot area of 40,000 square feet with 155 contiguous square street frontage 40 foot minimum front yard 35 two that's relative 35 foot minimum side yard, 35 foot minimum rear yard, maximum building coverage on the lot of 40%, maximum building height in feet of 36 feet. And in a business enterprise zone, 80,000 minimum lot square area, uh, square foot area, 260 feet of contiguous street frontage, 50 feet of minimum front yard, 50 feet minimum side yard, 50 feet minimum rear yard, 53 feet, mac, uh, 50, excuse me, 33% maximum building coverage on the lot, 36 foot maximum building height. The notation to this intensity of use schedule reads, maximum building height may exceed 36 feet up to no more than 50 feet in the industrial general and the business enterprise zone districts, subject to a special permit from the planning board so approving, provided that the nearest portion of any building or structure so exceeding 36 feet in height must be set back twice the ordinarily required minimum required setback for that zoning district 
from both A, the nearest residential structure, including any accessory use structure, and B, the nearest boundary line of any abutting residential or agricultural zone district, or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Do we have a motion relative to Article 8? Madam Moderator. Mr. Clay. I move the town approve Article 8 as written. We have a motion and a second. Is there a recommendation from the planning board? Yes, the planning board recommends this article for approval. Planning board recommends approval. Do we have a recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? Board of Selectmen support the motion. This requires a two-third vote. Is there any discussion to be had relative to Article 8? Mr. Sage. I guess I'm a little confused. In the last column, or in the first paragraph, it talks about changing it from the present 36 feet to allowing no more than 50 feet, but the last column says the maximum building height is 36 feet or 36 feet. And then it has the footnote of 11. I can see in the 11 area footnote, it kind of explains that it can go up to 50 feet there. So I just wonder why it didn't change in the original thing. Otherwise, I think the entire rest of the uh, zoning law is the same except for that last column. Thank you. So we're seeking clarification on the wording and whether or not this change will bring the maximum building height from 36 feet up to 50. Mr. Meskus. The um, sub superscript numbers are all footnotes as you sort of figured out as you were reading this. So when interpreting this table, you first read the allowed height and then you read the footnote. And this is a qualifier that says that the building may be higher if the planning board issues a special permit. So it's important that we understand what we're voting on. I appreciate the questions for clarification. This is an increase in the maximum building height from 36 to up to and no more than 50 feet in the two zoning districts stated here. Is there anything further to be said? Hearing none, all in favor, please vote green in the affirmative. Those opposed, vote red. Please vote now. Five seconds remaining. We have 56 votes in the affirmative, 10 in the negative. The motion carries. Article 9, parking. To see if the town will vote to amend the portion of Charlton Zoning Bylaw Section 200-4.2, off-street parking and loading, B, off-street parking schedule, governing warehouse, manufacturing and distribution facilities, to read as follows. B, the off-street parking schedule will include for manufacturing use, 1,000 square feet of gross area and require one parking space per 1,000 square feet of gross area. Warehousing and storage distribution will require one parking space per 3,000 square feet of gross area or take any action relative thereto or thereon. Is there a motion relative to Article 9? Madam Moderator. Yes, sir, Mr. Clay. I move the town approve Article 9 as written. There's a motion and a second. Do we have a recommendation from the Planning Board? The Planning Board recommends approval of this article as written. Planning Board recommends the article. Do we have recommendation from the Board of Selectmen? 
Board of Selectmen supports the motion. This requires another two-thirds vote. Is there any discussion to be had on this question of parking, this article? Hearing none, all those in favor, please use your green button to vote in the affirmative, red in the negative. Please vote now. We have 60 votes in the affirmative, six in the negative. The motion carries. Before I accept another motion to adjourn, I would ask that people please stay in your seats and as we exit, not congregate in a large group, but allow for six feet of social distancing upon exiting the building. Mr. Meskus. I move we adjourn. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, you must vote. Use your voting mechanism. We can't get out of here until we vote, so. It's not working. You didn't plug it in, okay. I'll take a show of hands. All those in favor? Anyone wanna stay here longer? No? Okay, thank you, motion carries. Thank you all very much for your wonderful participation this evening.